The United States Olympic and Paralympic Committee has sued a sports beverage company co-founded by social media influencer and wrestler Logan Paul, Prime Hydration, alleging that it is infringing on Olympic trademarks with an ad campaign featuring NBA star and Team USA member Kevin Durant. The complaint filed Friday in Colorado federal court alleges that Prime Hydration LLC is willfully infringing several trademarks of the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Committee ahead of its Paris Summer Olympics by including terms such as Olympic Olympian Team USA and going for gold on its product packaging. On July 10th, 2024, US OPC's council contacted Prime Hydration and requested they cease infringement. However, defendant has not discontinued use of all intellectual property. In its complaint, the Colorado-based uh, committee claimed trademark infringement and dilution, unfair competition, and violation of the Ted Stevens Olympic and Amateur Sports Act, which gives the organization exclusive rights to commercially exploit certain marks and symbols related to the Olympic movement in the United States. They allege that Prime's ad campaign is a deliberate and willful attempt to trade on their intellectual property. Prime Hydration's use of Olympic Olympian Team USA and going for gold marks will continue to be without the authorization and will continue to violate the Olympic and Amateur Sports Act. They are seeking preliminary and permanent injunction. The US OPC also wants the court to award it all profits from Prime Hydration's Olympic ad campaign. The US OPC has no association with Prime, but consumers may assume otherwise. The Summer Olympics begin July 26th. So this is the US Committee Against Prime Hydration. Here are the trademarks that they have. Olympic ornamental lapel pins, clothing, selecting and obtaining the most competent amateur athletes to represent the United States, Olympic spirit going for gold, go for the gold, Team USA in a million different categories, the Olympian and Paralympian Olympians made here. So that's a, quite a lot of categories. Three-time Olympic gold medalist and counting what makes a true Olympian repping Team USA? A three-point wizard, a master of the mid-range skill, determination heart. These are the marks of his game. Bottles up, fam, because when KD steps on the court, he's going for gold. Well, they used all the words. A depiction of the prime hydration bottle showing the infringing uses is shown below in a social media post by Prime Hydration. They say Prime Hydration also advertised the infringing bottle on its website as shown. Prime Hydration also advertised the infringing bottle on various social media platforms to be sold at Kroger, Walmart, Target, coming soon. Upon information and belief, Prime Hydration provided the ad copy to stores selling the infringing product that prominently uses the Olympic marks and using the word Olympic six times in the ads. Prime Hydration, Team USA, Kevin Durant drink pre-order. So upon information and belief, Prime Hydration provided ad copy to stores selling the infringing product with the word Olympics, Team USA, and USA Olympics. The Olympic Games are one of the most widely attended and viewed sporting events in the world. 206 countries will be represented in the upcoming 2024 Summer Olympics in Paris, France. More than 10,000 of the top athletes in the world will travel to Paris to compete. It's expected that 15 million tourists will visit Paris and several billion more watching the games from home. This goes on to say that the uh, Olympic Committee is federally chartered, internationally known corporation that serves both the National Olympic Committee and Paralympic Committee for the United States. As such, the committee is responsible for the training and funding of the USA teams. Pursuant to the Ted Stevens Olympic and Amateur Sports Act, Congress granted the U.S. Olympic Committee exclusive rights to commercially exploit certain marks. The symbol of the International Olympic Committee, the five interlocking rings, the word Olympic, and any trademark, trade name, sign, symbol, or insignia falsely representing association with or authorized by the International Olympic Committee is a problem. As set forth in the Olympic Charter, the committee is obligated to protect the Olympic intellectual property in the United States for the benefit of the Olympic movement in recognition and furtherance of the scope of the committee's responsibilities and undertaking. Congress granted the committee the exclusive right to use and control the Olympic terminology and imagery within the United States. The Ted Stevens Act authorizes the committee to file civil action against unauthorized use for the purpose of trade to induce the sale of any goods to promote any theatrical exhibition, athletic performance, competition of any trademark, trade name, sign, symbol, or insignia falsely representing association with or authorization by. The U.S. Supreme Court has explained the unambiguous intent of Congress in granting it is so that they have exclusive control over the Olympic brand and to generate revenue to finance the U.S. involvement in the Olympics. 
the committee raises money it needs to operate in large part by licensing the use of its intellectual property to sponsors and licensees. The legitimate licensees pay to house, feed, train, and otherwise support the U.S. Olympic team and finance this country's participation in the Olympic Games. And then they go through, in addition to the act, they have the trademarks. So at the end of the day, the U.S. Olympic Committee, by law, by Congress, is in charge of all things Olympic. And Prime has a collaboration with Kevin Durant that clearly uses the word Olympic Team USA and go for gold. So that lawsuit in federal court in Colorado is not going to go well for Prime. We will see what happens from here, though. They are asking for a permanent injunction, and they might get it. They might get an injunction taking this off shelves if it's already available for purchase. If it's not already available for purchase, they might be able to stop the sale of the infringing bottles. But given that all of these ads that they're citing are ads that look like they were coming immediately to stores, this probably already is available for sale. And so um, any profits made from it will probably go directly to the Olympic Committee because... Um, yeah, what you can't do is infringe on all those words because everyone knows how particular the Olympics are about the trademarks and use of Olympic words. Coca-Cola also is like the official drink sponsor of the Olympics, so I wonder how much they pay for those rights. So putting these words onto Prime is also going to uh, ruffle the legitimate sponsorship of and licensing deals of Coca-Cola. It's really interesting to see Prime choose to take on Coca-Cola in this, essentially, in their same industry. So this is not going to end well. I'm just curious. I'm just curious. I'm just curious what's going to happen next. For deep dives into the stories that I covered here, you can find them on my YouTube channel at The Emily D. Baker and The Emily Show Podcast. I stream every Tuesday and Thursday. The podcast goes live on Wednesdays. And if you want to stay in the loop with everything I'm doing, receive the fastest notifications out there and get more Law Nerd community, join me at lawnerdapp.com, our free app for iOS and Android.